Hello everybody, my name is Edgar aka Canada Man and today is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video. Now, if you watch my streams or uh, my TikToks then you'll know that I am a KJ main or a Killjoy main. So, I'm going to be showing you a, kill a Killjoy setup for each site for each map. Now KJ isn't going to be the only agent that I do this type of video for. Um, I'm planning on also doing one for Viper and Cypher, but if you guys want another agent specifically then leave that in the comment section and i will definitely do that um, i'm planning on getting to every one of them but uh you know if, if uh these videos aren't as well received then obviously i won't do that then i go first up we got us on ascent we're gonna go to b site first because that is usually the site that i i hold okay so we're gonna place our turret here um because the turret you know looks into b main as well and it also sees if anyone pushes in through mid once they get yeah. to about here as soon as they enter the door, the turret will notice them. You're going to put your alarm bot here. Um, you can put it here, I guess. I don't, there's not really a difference. I kind of put it here. Alarm bot out. And then you put one uh, nano swarm here Placing and the other grenade. one about here. <clears throat> and you're going to be right over here. Um, now what you're going to try to do is play off of the turret. So once it notices someone, you're going to do like a, a slight peek. So once the uh, alarm goes off, Pretty much you're just going to pop both and out. peek around here. There's going to be three things that happen when you pop those. You're either going to pop them, uh, you're pop both of them, and they're going to back up, which slows them down, leaving time for your team to, to help you and, and rotate. They're going to push in and come over here, in which case the turret's just going to keep hitting them, and or they're just going to shoot it off and you know that they're here. Or they're going to hit it. And they're gonna go this way and if they don't die to both of the swarms they're gonna be right here and rushing and panicking over here and while they're panicking you moved over here so now you see them and you shoot them as they're as they're coming through okay now on to a site on ascent i barely 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 ever go a on defense when i'm kj so I don't know many, many setups, I guess. Um, but here is one that I do whenever I am uh, going A. So Placing first the alarm bot there. First swarm grenade about here. It is invisible. Uh, so, you know, they're not going to see it, but they will hear it as soon as they get into this range of it about here or so. But by the time they hear it, they're going to be caught by the alarm bot and you can set it off. The other swarm, I guess, could be up to you. If you want to place it tree, or if you want to place it on the default that is for your uh, elo, because right now for me, yeah. default is here, but I know that for some higher ranks it's Watching here, this. or maybe even here. Yeah. So I guess whatever you want the default plant, whatever default plant is for you, place that there. Your turret can be placed pretty much anywhere on site that looks at an entrance. So I guess the best place would be here, so you can see when they enter, it also sees into tree. But obviously once they start to know where it is you want to start you, you should start moving it around Time you can move out. it to there so it, it still gets tree and main Recalling my bot. you could put it here so it, it just gets sense. main but then you know tree is but you yourself um you could play tree i guess either tree or heaven is probably your best spot okay i didn't really do a good job of explaining what i was trying to say but what i was trying to say was if you're gonna play heaven so let's get rid of, rid of this. But if you are going to play heaven, then you should put your nano swarm in tree and then play off of your turret. But if you're going to play tree, you should put your nano swarm into one of the default plant spots. So yeah, if you're playing, if you're going to play tree, put your second swarm on the default plant spot that it is for you. But if you're going to play heaven, put your second nano swarm here in tree. And once the turret detects someone in tree, then you set it off. Hopefully that makes a bit more sense than what I was saying. Okay, yeah. Your turret, if you put it in what I would say is the best spot for the turret, you're going to be out of range when you're peeking mid, so don't peek cat. The most you should peek is is tiles, but um, that is kind of risky. I guess your only um, justification for that is you have like, um, if you have your smoke, yeah. smoke there and there, yeah. so you can get mid control. But yeah, I guess that's the setup for that. Now obviously mid is not a site, but I feel like you should at least have a setup for mid as well. She can have her utility on B, so she can have her turret here, so her turret can be facing that end there. And you know, you can do the usual 
Placing swarm grenade. Usual this setup here. Placing swarm grenade. But instead of playing there, you can play in market. Yeah. Like around here. And whenever the turret catches here or there, you can either play off the turret here to peek the guy here. and mark it again. Or you can even try to play a more aggressive angle with like an op or a marshal down there. But if your turret starts to pick someone up here, you can kind of jiggle peek it. And then once the alarm bot goes off, you know, do Long that and peek out. so you can... Now when it comes to flank watch, um, Killjoy is pretty limited because it's not like chamber where you can just put your yeah. trademark here or there, yeah. or there or there yeah. or there. For Killjoy's alarm bot, you always have to be in range, obviously. So really the only place you can put it is here if you want to play closer to the spike after you plant it. You could also, I guess, place it here, but then play main instead of on site. Now when you're taking A, from main you're gonna try to most of the time it's gonna be smoked or whatever so you're gonna try to place your your turret just a little bit inside the site out, outside of the smoke to try to get some intel on where anybody is and then you push in you get a kill or whatever you get 700,000 kills whatever you take the site you have the door closed a tree and then you plant like I said the default for me is here but I know that in higher elo, the default is here, or here, or here, or whatever, so, you know, just plant default for me I got the there. And then you're going to want to place your swarms here. Placing swarm grenade. Placing now, swarm grenade. you might be wondering why. I'm playing on medium graphics, I guess. But if you were to put everything on high, like, that one's covered. That, this is probably not the best place to put it, but again, they're they're invisible. But this is a better place because this actually affects the person the above it. <sighs> While it's already invisible, here it's just an extra little cloak that's going to make it harder for them to to notice. I now with the spike. the spike planted there, Spikes here. it's better to play post plant in wine. Here. And you want to stay close, aiming over here. Playing off your bot, if someone's flanking, so once you hear the tap, you go Swarm grenade out. Then you thing, whatever. Either someone runs away, and then another tap, and Swarm then grenade out. You can get a kill and win the round. But if you want to play on this side of main, if you have a teammate playing in wine or and you wanna focus a bit more onto your flank, you can plant the spike there. Plant the spike! Or there. Plant the spike. I drop the spike. And then obviously, you know, that, just the same thing Placing as well, same grenade. setup. You're gonna play here, and then, you know, the same thing. We have it. Tree, 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 tree. Tree. Placing swamp grenade. Goodbye. Nice. Placing I don't know where Jet is now. Watch out for flank. The dash in. They know you're there. Swamp grenade Tapping. out. Ping, 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 ping. Heaven, heaven. Last Wait, why don't you ping? I pinged it. I pinged it. I pinged it. That's not on the ball. One enemy oh, remaining. Oh. You're so good. Attacking B is pretty much the same, except for instead of your alarm bot being your flank watch, you're gonna have your turret and you're gonna place it like this. And now that's gonna have sight onto mid, as well as if anyone's being aggressive and pushing up through B main. So yeah, you're gonna place that, come push up main with either your one teammate or if you're in bronze, your entire team pushing up and being very, very careful that you're not having uh, someone ego yeah. peeking you from the main entrance or if yeah. someone is being an asshole rat and playing over here. Now once you have control of main, attacking site and getting on site is pretty pretty easy I guess it's not like easy but it's kind of like simple you're just gonna throw Placing swarm grenade. one swarm there swarm set it off out. one swarm Placing there swarm grenade. set it swarm off grenade out. and now you've kind of pushed either the market player and the CT player back push in sight and try to take out the person playing boathouse or if you have someone who's using my setup that I gave you yeah someone playing on the stairway and usually with this you're gonna have um, your teammate new push in, 
and then plant and you win the game because you're so good except for one thing on B attacks you can't just retreat back into main because now you're gonna have the entire rest of the defending team trying to retake and they're gonna be coming from market from CT and even from main. this turret is really good with that because it'll tell you if someone's pushing from your main a good place after you plant is to put your alarm bot on the stairway Placing alarm bot. I dropped the spike. you plant and then just come and place your alarm right here alarm then you come back here and you sit in boathouse hopefully just on the edge of the turret because if you're here your turret's not gonna work if you're here it is gonna work i guess it's kind of hard to say because you want to play off your alarm bot but then you're kind of in the open here like that so it might be better to play on yeah. the box and have your teammate yeah. play in boathouse so yeah yeah just be careful because this wall is basically paper and once your alarm bar goes off, you know, play off of it. If you hear someone coming from here, you can just sh wait for them to show up. And yeah, that's attacking on B site with Killjoy. Now mid, um, mid attacks are pretty much the same, but different at the same time. Because if you're attacking mid from B side, you're just going to keep the same turret there. And you're going to go in from tiles. Now you're... Hopefully you have a smoke, like a brimstone, a viper, you know, omen, astra. You're gonna yeah. smoke off tree or cubby, whatever it's called. Smoke yeah. up either mid, like courtyard or market yeah. itself. And you're gonna push into mid with hopefully one of your teammates going yeah. B main. Or if it's like a full on B push, like two of you going mid, one of you coming from catwalk and the rest of you go in there. So we push up either slowly or if you don't give a shit and you want to draw attention to mid. You know, running in, pushing up thing. Yeah. Taking some control of cubby, not really fully. Just making sure that the people pushing up mid don't get assassinated. And you're going to come up here, you know, clear it. Hopefully you have a Sova drone to clear it or, or a sky. And then you put pressure from mid as well as main and hopefully take the site and attacking a is kind of the same except for you might have like one player pushing in from tiles and like two people pushing on catwalk and either one of you pushing there or the rest of you pushing a and then you're just gonna slowly walk up making sure to watch the doorway and have someone the tiles player watch you there or just join you and then take tree and hopefully not have as bad as aim as me. Now, if you have your alt on defense, uh, you, I guess you can just place it here and it'll cover the entirety of B main, other than just like a small corner, but obviously all of sight. But this wall is wall bangable, even down here. So you might want to place it down here, I guess. Or if you have your alt and you really want to keep it protected, you could just sit CT. This does get all of sight, but not doesn't get all of main or uh, I forget what this is called. Boathouse. So your best choice might just to be right here. But now for attacking on A, you're going to want to alt. And usually you're going to place it there. But people have kind of known that for a long time. And Soba usually just alts it right away. So what you're going to do is jump and place it at the same time. And it's going to go up there. So when Soba tries to alt it, he's going to alt it down here or this level. They're not really expecting it, you know, up there. So they still might get it, but it won't be as easy or you know known where it is now attacking a there isn't really one of those types of uh spots there is really only one spot and that's here Initiated my ultimate and soba can get that pretty easily like really easily and brim is brimstone as well i guess another different place you can put it is here but again soba and brimstone you know just through the wall the spot for attacking B uh, is a little bit, you have two different spots. You can put it here, which is I think the place that most people put it, that gets all of sight, but it doesn't, you see on the map there, there's one little corner in Boathouse that you can just sit, so one player can just avoid it. I like to put it here. Initiated my ultimate now that doesn't get the person market, and it doesn't fully push them back into market. So they can still have someone play here and kind of watch the entrance way, which I guess is really the downfall of this alt location. But I think that that's a little bit better though, because 
If someone's hiding yeah. here and you're not expecting someone to be on site, you're just gonna get killed like immediately or you're gonna try to plant and they're just gonna ninja defuse or just kill you. Let's see if we can find a better spot, like a spot that'll get both. This, I think this will push them back into market enough where they can't just look directly at the thing, but there's still that little corner of boathouse that's not covered. So I'm gonna try to push as far left as possible. Initiated. My ready. Yeah, pushes them far back enough where they can't peek in. Let's see if the corner. No, okay, yeah, that might be a better. That might be the best spot to alt. Honestly, is on top of the box and as far left as possible. Now, 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 now. Yes. All right, and now on to split. Now, when I defend split, I usually defend a site. Uh, I rarely ever go B, but if I have to, then I have a site for that as well. So here is my setup for A. You're going to put your alarm bot as far to the right as possible while still catching the entirety of the doorway. Just so you can try to get the people coming in from vent. You're going to put one of your uh, nano swarms here. You're going to come down here. You're going to place your other nano swarm right here. And your turret right over here. So basically, and you're going to you're gonna play over here. Or as far in the corner as possible to stay in the, the zone, obviously. So, and what you're going to do is you're going to play off the turret. So once the turret starts to shoot, you're going to detonate it. And what's gonna, that's going to do is either force them here where I'm standing right now, which is in my line of sight where you'd be playing, force them yeah. over here, or force them back. Now, again, when you force them back, that's going to give more time for your teammates to either rotate or send one person to come help. When you push them over yeah. there or to there, yeah. it's easy for you to just play off the turret and come in. Kill them. And obviously when they get noticed by the alarm bot, just Long grenade out. do that. Now you could also, I guess, put the nano swarm closer to the alarm bot. Because when they come up here, you're only getting the people in vent. You're not really catching the doorway. You could just place it right on top of it. And that's going to cover all of this. So it's either going to force them to drop back, back down into vent, to rush in, and hopefully you'll have a teammate here in heaven to help you. Or if they're here, it'll force them to be panicked and back up. Okay, and now on to B site. So you're going to place your turret right around here. Now this turret is going to be able to see both mid and main. So it'll give you, you know, first contact or early contact, whatever the fuck it's called. I don't care. Right there to main as well as mid if you don't trust your teammates or... Just, it's just a good spot, I guess. With your turret there, you're gonna put your alarm bot right here. You're gonna put your first swarm right here, and your second swarm right over here. You could also, uh, alternatively, put the second swarm over here, or maybe even on default or this plant, uh, this plant spot, which is honestly better, you know, because you got main watch. But now I did not come up with this setup. I got this setup from a YouTuber. Uh, Evu, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so his link will be in the description below. Um, when we attack a site, I usually put my alarm by here to catch someone flanking, either if they're doing a long flank or if they're coming through sewer. Now the rest of the Killjoy setup really comes with post plant. If you follow me on TikTok, you'll know that I've jokingly been calling myself the post plant king. I'll show some clips on the screen now. Bomb grenade out. Oh, the how? Okay. You know what? Nice. Oh. Oh. Bomb grenade. One enemy remaining. Oh, nice. Bomb grenade out. She is off. She is off. Nice. You're so good at your W post plan gameplay. Most of the time. If you're a killjoy, you're, you're, it's either going to be you or a sage or just any other sentinel with the spike. And you're going to want to plant the spike either here yeah. or here. Yeah. And after you plant the spike, let's say, um, fuck, whatever. The, yeah. th that's the spike. You can place one swarm here, swarm one grenade. swarm around the corner here. Swarm grenade. Then you're going to place your turret either here or in the corner or in this corner or on top of here. It's pretty much anywhere that has a line of sight onto heaven or just people entering the bomb. You can even put it main. And from here, after you put your swarm grenades down, you're gonna come either main or screens. And basically you're just gonna be waiting for the sound. And once you hear the first sort of diffuse, you swarm pop it out. and you wanna get a little bit closer. 
kind of watching heaven or flank for your team. And then once you hear a second tap, Swamp you're going to tap it and try to get a bit more aggressive positioning because now you don't have any nano swarms on the spike. And now for lineups on A site, your teammate is planting the spike and you are staying back watching flank. You put your crosshair about there, jump the throw. Now that is going to go to that little screen that's there. It's going to bounce off and go to the screen. Pretty much you throw both right there and once the yeah. spike is planted there, once you hear the first one, pop Swamp one. It's going to get it, obviously, and then the second one. Attacking B site on split is a bit more complex and situational. Alright, so you're going to place your alarm about either here or if you want to be a bit more aggressive with your defense, put it about here. And then when you push, you're either going to have your Sage Wall or your Viper Wall or your Neon Wall or your Phoenix Wall or whatever. You're going to push in, you're going to clear here, back site, try to push in. All of your setup is obviously post plant again, either here yeah. or here, depending on which one is more safe. You know, Placing swarm, swarm, Placing swarm grenade. whatever, you know what I mean? But what? You're gonna place your turret out Placing here, because it'll have sight onto both the spike, heaven, rafter, and the player that's coming out of CT. And if you can, safely try to push back in the garage. So if you're the last one left, or if you have a team, you're gonna sit in the garage and you're gonna play off of your alarm by your guy. Either gonna sit here in this corner or be a bit more aggressive and sit here and play off your turret, help your team if they need help. But then as soon as your alarm bot goes off, focus your attention on two main. Now there aren't really any uh, lineups for your molly on B uh, because this fucking thing is here. And you can't really do anything about that. Also, if you have the numbers advantage, you don't you don't really have to play that passive and go into garage. You could even push up into CT and go up here and play more aggressive and maybe even push up into heaven and try to flank if there's anyone in heaven or trying to catch anyone's rotate if you were able to get sight pretty easily. Okay, and now for the alt locations on split. If you're attacking A, the best one is like here pretty much. It's gonna alt here. It gets almost all of heaven. It kind of just pushes them back to CT. It gets all of sight. It doesn't get screens, but I guess the more you push up, the more you're just in the open. So I guess really a better location would be here, but you would kind of most likely die trying to get to that spot. So if you do have control of A and you you want to keep control of A and you have alt, I guess here would be the better spot. Now if you're defending A, if you're following my setup that I gave before, you're most likely going to be playing here. And alting here is the best way to do it because it gets all of sight, it gets heaven, but it also mainly gets them in main. You could also play elbow like I said before and alt here, but that doesn't really get main. It kind of just forces them to stay out of sight and safe yeah. safely uh, yeah. over there, which I would recommend you playing there. Yeah. The best alt location for B, uh, it changes for what you're trying to do. If you know that you have control of back sight, then here would probably be the best location because then you have control of back sight already, but then you also get heaven. Here might be better because you get a little bit more control of back sight. It also is kind of protected from uh, a, a flank because like I said from, from the setup, your alarm bot is going to be here. So if you have someone flanking, they're going to come and see it and then... Now the problem with ulting B is you if you want to have control of all of sight, you are going to get it. But you're not going to get control of back sight with your ult. You kind of have to do that yourself, which means that you can't really rely on your ult. The, the ult is not really the, the most reliable thing on this site. You could ult here, but again, you're just going to get yeah. peaked from yeah. back site and you need control of back site. Now, defending site, however, is a little bit different. If you're defending B, there's a, multiple different places that you can play. If you're playing heaven, you can alt here and it'll get all of site. You can alt here, it'll get main. You can alt back here and it'll get all of site but not back site. Or if you hear them coming and you're playing on site, you can kind of come over here and get main all of sight. If you're playing CT, I think the, the default alt is here. So yeah, you can put it here. I think it's here actually, but this is a better spot. 
So yeah, that's the alt locations on Split. Okay, so what map is next? <sighs> Fracture. Now, I, I might be alone on this. You know, this could be like a totally uh, unique and individual thought, but I fucking hate Fracture. Fracture sucks ass. And as a result of this, I do not have any setups. Um, for Killjoy, so uh, I'm too lazy to look up some some uh, some setups. So I'm just gonna try to make some um, impromptu setups for uh, for both sides. So so bear with me. Um, so for B site, I guess you can place a turret here. Because this will get this will get main, and then if somebody enters tower, it's a good spot, right? Right, little chicken guy? When the wall is up, the wall goes like here. So you can place your alarm up here. You can place one of the swarm things, grenades. swarm grenades there, and the other one swarm here. Grenade. Is swarm that one out. get like that? I... No, that's not a good shot. This one is good though, because it'll, it'll force them back or up or there, you yeah. know? And, uh,. I guess the other one can go here. Placing swarm grenade. Swarm grenade out. Because it'll get like this the plant spot there. Yeah. Or it can go Placing there. Swarm grenade. Swarm grenade out. Because it'll get the plant spot. Does it oh. Does it Yeah. It, it damages them here too. So maybe it can go here. Placing swarm grenade. Swarm grenade out. Like that. Oh. And it'll, yeah, that could be a good one. That's that's the best it's gonna be. Let's let's be honest. That's the best that it's gonna be. Okay, now, uh, defending on A. I think with Killjoy, defending on A is a little bit better. You can put, uh, your alarm bot here, because the wall, the wall goes here. You can put alarm bot out. there and, and that Placing swamp there, grenade. and maybe this one here. Placing swamp grenade. You can put Placing the alarm bot there, because that'll tell you when they're there. You can just watch drop, I guess. Yeah. Once the alarm bot goes off, pop bow and peek. Out. I guess another one that could be good is if you put the alarm bot here, you put the alarm bot here? No, no, no. turret here, and you you have the same uh, alarm bot, an alarm bot. and nano swarm, and you play up here on drop. You can kind of hold uh, radar or dish or whatever. Yeah. Have your double Placing thing there, and then alarm bot goes off in the boom boom, and then peek, and then boom boom. That could be a good one. Those are good, right? I think those are good uh, for, you know, off the top of your head, you know what I mean? You know, if I wasn't so lazy, I could probably find better setups, but you don't give a shit about Fracture, do you? Uh, you uh, cannot sit on site, because then your alarm bot just won't work. You could go here and then play main. You could go here and then play main. Or you could go here and then you're dead because then they won't catch anybody. So yeah, I guess the, the best place to put it would be here. Placing a lot and then just play main. Yeah. And you know the same same thing applies. Uh, just throw wherever you plant. I dropped the spike. Just you know swarm grenade swarm there, grenade. swarm there. Swarm grenade. And then swarm grenade out. Swarm grenade out. Flank watch as killjoy on maps like this are not good. Because you can't Put it here, because then once you're on site, you literally, like, as soon as you're planting, uh oh, now they can sneak up on you. Recalling and then if, if you put it anywhere closer to you, like if you put it here, where you can be on site, guess what? Your teammate or whoever that's on main is dead. I guess you could put uh your yeah you you could do this. You can put your your turret as your flank watch. Come up and put your alarm bot somewhere, somewhere yeah. on their spawn to cast a rotate. Like you can put it yeah. here on canteen, alarm bot out. there, or you can put it coming back. here on. I guess, what's this bot, called? Yeah. Mid link. I, I don't know if people call it link, but link. And then I you can the just plant there or plant there. Plant the spike. 
And then whatever you want to do, if you want to boom, 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 or if you want to boom, 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 and you can sit tower, or you can sit main, or you can sit in canteen if you want to get aggressive. Maybe just your duelist by himself, apply pressure from the back here, and just have everyone else go main, I think would probably be the smartest thing, or neon and, I don't know, there's two, two people, one of them being a duelist, Going from arcade and the rest of them going from main. You could alt here. My but but if that is going to be where you put the alt, you kind of have to take gunfights and take control of the lines of sight. Defending B, uh, obviously, is tower. The only problem with that is, I think, with an Odin, it's wall bangable. Yeah, with an Odin, it's wall bangable. So this is probably the best place to put it. But if they have an Odin, uh, you know, you could buy it to your, your alt. I think the most common alt spot is below down here. So I think you used to be able to uh, wall bang it. To my knowledge, you can't wall bang it anymore. Well, you might, you actually might be able to. If you have control of sight and you've planted, this is probably the best spot overall. If you have full control of drop, you have control of sight, here is probably the best spot. And then you can kind of not fully have to worry about everyone there. You do have to worry about someone being in the, yeah. on the very corner yeah. of rope or maybe here, but this is... It's a bit weird though because it's, it's, it's not wall bangable. It's wall bangable but not from certain angles. Like right there, right there. See, like right there, it's not wall bangable, but then from from main, it is wall bangable, which is really the main place they're going to be shooting your alt from is main. From here, it isn't. From drop, nothing here is wall bangable from here. But this side is. Nothing from this side is. Except for this one spot. Skip it up and that up. Bind is my favorite map to defend on because of this setup right here. Uh, you set your turret there, and it'll, it'll have sight yeah. onto Garden, Long, and yeah. Puka. So alarm about there, there. Depends on how you want to do it. You can put your alarm about there, and then your first Nano Swarm there, and the second one here. And then as soon as they get caught in the alarm bot pop bow again, it'll force them either back or to rush into sight or into yeah. that corner. And you are going to be over here. So if they rush in, you have them off guard. And if they go to the corner, you have a pretty much a perfect headshot. Just aim at that level right there. Another setup you could do with the alarm bot is to put the alarm bot here. Alarm bot. Nano swarm there. And have your second nano swarm right here. Swarm grenade. And again, you play over here. So alarm bot goes off and boom. And now it's the same thing, it's just they're further up hookah. And now if you hear them coming along and you hear them in garden, you think they're about to push in. Swarm grenade out. Push that and it gives you a bit more protection to peek a bit more and peek a bit more. Now this, there's not really any other turret location for here because this is really the best one. It's okay if it gets uh, destroyed early because then it's just more intel for you. Now if you get smoked, off like omen smoke brimstone smoke the best thing for you to do is to back up and rotate to ct or to stay here because i found a lot of times when i play the first couple times i play elbow they're not expecting it and i'll get like a one or two picks but then after that they know exactly where i am so they smoke me off so i push back a bit but a lot of times they push into the smoke for some reason i think it could just be because i'm in low elo that they're like aggressive for the kill i guess if they're normal human beings with functioning brains you can kind of stay here and if nothing happens for a bit rotate to ct to help your team retake from here and then after five seconds or so then try to come back and take elbow who's next last player standing he's this guy's running fight down in the uh, garden oh one enemy remaining oh. One more. She's uh, on. Okay. <laughs> oh, my genius doesn't stop in the lab. I always play B. On B. I'm always on B. 
but if I'm playing with randoms and I'm solo queuing and they for some reason put four people on B while I'm there, uh, I'll do this, right? Turret here. It'll get people in, in shower as they're pushing in and as they go into this corner. Put your alarm bot here. So when you know when they're pushing in the short. Put that there. And you put this one either here or back here. Where you play is a bit... A bit weird. Because you could play here and peek with your turret. The best place for you to play is an elbow. Play off your alarm bot. But your turret doesn't have to go there every single time. Calling my bot. Your turret can go on top of the green boxes here. Placing and it'll have the same effect, except for it'll see yeah. them in showers more earlier. So you can kind of put it on this Placing line here. And it'll also play off of your alarm bot even more. You can have your alarm bot goes off, your turret goes off, and you keep... Okay, so when you're attacking A, you want to put your alarm bot here or here. Probably most likely here. You could also potentially put it here. To ca if you think that they're going to come from showers or in previous rounds they came from showers. So yeah, you're going to come in. And the spike. right there. Go on my mark. You're going to put one spike. One, Placing swarm one nano swarm there. One nano swarm there. Swarm grenade. Swarm grenade. Swarm grenade out. You want to put your... Um, your turret here and you after you plant it or your teammate plants it you want to come in and sit you or you can come and sit back here play off your alarm bot or you can even come here watch the flank from showers and then play off your alarm bot once someone's coming then now attacking B I like to have me and one other person take long while the rest take short and then hookah so we come up long it's in tandem with your teammates pushing into hookah. When you're taking sight, you want to try to put your turret there. They'll get Watching there, this. there, yeah. there. Come and plant there. Nano swarm there. Nano swarm there. You can do one of two things with your alarm bot. You can put it here on elbow to try to catch someone coming there. Or you can go the extra post plant uh, way and just put it on the spike. Out. And play even further back down long. The turret will go off early, but then as soon as the alarm bot goes off, Swarm grenade out. pop one, and then as soon as the, the they start to defuse, Swarm grenade pop the other out. one, and then... Now, if you're attacking B, and you're coming up long, here would probably be the best thing, because it's probably the safest from anyone peeking it. Someone can still go here, here, and stay here, but they're still, you know, they're in the open from both hookah and long. Now, when you're defending B, this is probably the best alt spot because none of this is wall bang. I guess this is wall bang. Hold on. Okay, that is wall bang. That little door door frame is. So alt just a little bit to the right of it. Now when you're defending A, it's a little bit tricky because this would be a good one back here in CT, but uh, you know it's kind of open. Attacking A is easier with your alt. Uh, it's easier to know where to place it. You can put it here if you're just trying to take up, uh, take over you in, in its entirety. You just put it like that. If you have sight control and you're trying to stop a retake, you can put it here, yeah. here, or even here. Yeah. This is a certified hood classic. Okay, usually I play on B as Killjoy, but there, this is a pretty good setup that I use on A. Turn out. <clears throat> you can put your turret there, so it gets a view of caves. As well, if, if anyone is pushing into through mid, you're gonna come and once the walls go down, you're gonna place placing alarm, alarm bot, bot. Placing swarm, grenade. swarm grenade, and then other swarm grenade down here. Placing swarm grenade. And you yourself, I guess you really only have time to come here and help off mid, or you could try to get past the sight of people in cave and come back to yeah. orange or yeah. yellow, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Once the alarm bot goes off, Swarm grenade out. and once you hear someone mid, Swarm grenade out. and I guess the name of the game, obviously, your killjoy, is to just play off your utility. You don't just let your utility do it by itself, you gotta play with it, you know what I mean? Now that setup on A is more of a one-time thing. You can really only do it once and then they know to pre-fire the... Uh, pre-fire the alarm bot, to pre-fire the turret, to pre-fire the spike, the swarm grenade, whatever. This setup on B 
it works almost every time. Uh, time I don't know what I mean by that, but like it, 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 it's harder for them to push B as Killjoy with your utility than it is for them to push A with your utility. You want to put your alarm bot here or here. You might want to switch it up every every round just to do it. Placing Most of the time, they're going to be coming in through main to take back site. But that turret there, uh, it sees mid, I think? Yeah, it sees mid fully, 100% sees mid. But the main thing it does is, is it gets you early info on if they're main yeah. or window. Basically tells you that they're here. And your swarm uh, uh, grenades, your mollies, one main, you can switch this up depending on um, the patterns that you see. So if you see them fully committing through the alarm bot to go back set, you can place one there. If you see them coming in this way more, put the swarm grenade more in the middle. If you see them fully rushing in, then push it, put it more up. And <clears throat> there's two places that you can play. If you're the lone person on site, it's just you. Play back yeah. here or yeah. back there. But if there's two of you on site, I'd recommend one of you being here yeah. and one of you here. Yeah. But if you are the lone person on site, you put your other swarm grenade here Placing to try to grenade. watch mid for you. Once you hear some, you hear a little bit of noise mid, you just pop it right away. But if swarm grenade you have someone watching mid or you're watching mid, you place the other swarm grenade right here. Placing swarm grenade, swarm grenade out. So that covers all of the default plans. If they want to plant yeah. there, if they want to plant here, yeah. it covers all of it. So if you're by yourself and you you hear the the alarm bell goes off, you pop it, Long but you still hear them rushing in and you can't peek because you're going to die because there's 700 of them on you. And you hear them start to plant it because they feel safe, you just pop it. Now a lot of times on the second round, when, when you win the pistol round and you have your, uh, I forget what it's called, uh, but you have your round where you buy. I, a lot of times, instead of getting the Spectre, I buy a Marshall and I peek mid with my full setup that I just showed. Uh, you know, with a turret and everything. And then I peek mid with my Marshall. The giant enemy spider. So you're going to put your alarm bot here to try to catch anyone flanking from here. But it's not going to get anyone coming from here. What is going to do that is this turret. This turret's gonna go right here. That turret's gonna catch anyone that's coming in from there to here. Yeah. It's gonna plant, it's gonna see the spike. Yeah. It's gonna see arches, yeah. aka their spawn. It's gonna see anyone pushing in from yeah. mid entryway to come here to get the spike. Now when you're pushing in and you're taking control of B, you're gonna probably have your viper wall go across there. Hopefully smoke off here or there. Take control of backsite after you get control of backsite. You come and you fight. plant the spike here, you put your usual swarm, swarm grenade. grenade as you're backing Placing out of the site. Grenade. And now as you're here, you retreat back to window. And now you play passive and you play off of your turret. Once your turret starts going and you can hear the spike get diffused, swarm grenade plant your out. first one, peek off of it a bit just to make them feel uneasy. Make them feel like they, oh I can't diffuse. And then you know, Swarm grenade out. then you just win. Uh, you win the round. It's that easy. Attacking A is a bit more complicated than that. And what I mean by that is you can't you can't really enter a lot of times because you have uh, a chamber with his alt or with a regular op or you have jet with an op. It gets kind of um, hard to even peek. So obviously you have your your viper wall that'll go from here and yeah. you know cut off that and then it'll get you to be able to not get peeked by the yeah. chamber or the jet there but a lot of times uh, they'll ego peek you from here yeah. they'll say I'm so awesome and good and hot and sexy that I'm gonna just go through the fucking smoke and then boom you die and then they teleport out of there or they jet dash out of there and basically what you're gonna do though let's let's just Presume that you, you you that doesn't happen, right? You put your alarm bot here to, to catch a flank. You put your turret here, just a bit out of the cave. Your viper wall goes out. You put another smoke here, maybe like your viper smoke goes here to cover that. You come in. 
You plant here. Place your, you know, your swarm Placing grenades swarm as you're backing out of the grenade. site. And then you play passive over here. Play off your utility. Like swarm a good killjoy main you are. When you're attacking A, this is probably the best one. Um, but at the same time, even without your alt, there's not going to be anyone here. But sometimes you'll get a, a rat dickhead playing there, or you'll have a rat dickhead playing here. Yeah. This is probably the best for getting rid of that. You just, you know, alt here, and you pretty much have a free site because along with your alt, you'll also still have the viper wall that goes across, and hopefully a smoke, like a viper smoke that yeah. goes here, and then you plant. Another thing you could do, though, is while your teammate is planting, and the viper wall goes up, you come and you alt here. Because now, as you can see, right here, that chamber that's yeah. most likely going to be playing here, has to back up a bit more. Yeah. He's just further away from the action and being able to retake and defuse the spike, especially with the viper wall, with the smoke, and your entire team uh, watching the only place that he can go. Now, on A, <coughs> on defense, really the best place is here, right here. Uh, they still can get on site, uh, but this kind of just discourages it. Because they're still there. Yeah. yeah. I'm, you know, safe to plant, but you know, you can, you, you, you'll be able to kill me. Come on. But again, what this really is, this alt is really trying to do is just keep them in cave, just slow down their push. It's the main point. Slow them down so your team can come to help you. The best alt spot for attacking B is here. This does not get all of back sight, but it does get all of sight. It takes away the mid guy, the person that's playing mid. It pushes them back into their spawn or to back sight. And with, when you do that, you smoke here. Yeah. Or you smoke here, whatever. Yeah. To keep their line of sight off of you you have that viper wall again so now you have no guns aiming at you while you're coming in you have your usual setup that I said before you come in and you plant and as you're planting obviously you're, there's five people on the team two of you peek and kill those guys because they have the viper wall up so they, they have to decide whether or not to sit here in the open or try to play more passive and not die. Uh, and most likely they're gonna play passive and play on the other side of the wall. So you can kind of push up and either sp spray through the wall and hope to hope to God, to Allah, that you get them. Or once the wall goes down, boom, boom surprise them. Maybe, uh, let's just say though, that you took sight, you have sight. You can alt here and it makes it harder for them to push in. So I'd say you can either plant right away in the elbow or you can wait until you have full control of site and you're planting and then put it here. Initiated. And My then you literally make it impossible for them to come in. Because as soon as they, they, they realize that they can come in, they go to defuse the spike and then as soon as they go to defuse, boom. Now they have no ability, then you're dead. Now when defending B, the best alt spot is right here. It covers the entirety of site, the B main entrance, as well as the entrance to B from mid. Uh, that's A lot of times you'll see when I say uh, where you should play, where you should play is usually the safest place, and it's also usually the best alt place. And this is 100% the best alt place uh, for B site. There isn't really another one. You could go here, but again, back sight. You could play aggressive like this, but then you're kind of just dead. So 100% best alt spot B right there. Now KJ is really good on Icebox, particularly A sight. She's really good at getting that early info. That turret there sees all the way back yeah. into Heaven or belt or whatever you call it, belt. Yeah. Their yeah. nest, as well yeah. as a little bit of the chokehold. I call it the Y. Gets a little bit of it right there. Not the 
best. Maybe you could push it a little bit more to the right. That turret is more for up here. Yeah. Now another turret location that button. you can put it is right here. Turn out. And that'll pretty much just say, it's not really an early sign, it's just like, hey, yeah. they're here. Which this turret is probably better for the setup that I'm about to give. Pretty much you're going to put your alarm bot right here and as you can see from the circle Pushing that it gets bot. all of here as well as usual default. But like I'm going to go later on in the attacking uh, setup, that is not a good place to plant. What you're going to do with that is place the swarm grenade here Placing swarm grenade. and that's going to get swarm grenade the default. Uh, the better plant site that I'm gonna uh, plant spot that I'm gonna give you, and it pretty much just forces them to stay back or to push more into site uh, to where you're gonna be standing right over here. Yeah. You're gonna be sitting on screens, pretty much uh, passively contesting, making them scared to fully push in. And once they uh, the alarm bot goes off, you press it and then you're gonna peek. Now the other nano swarm, like I said, one goes here. The other one is gonna go on the orb, or maybe a little bit in front, or maybe a little bit uh, in the back. But as soon as your turret goes off, that's when you do it, because the turret is gonna see you right here, and that's gonna basically stop you in your tracks. If they're ballsy enough, they could try to push through, and they will survive, but uh, they'll be pretty hurt, and you'll hear them getting hit. So to go over the setup one more time. Turret goes here. Turn out. Alarm bot goes right here. Alarm bot swarm out. grenade goes Placing there. Grenade. Other swarm grenade goes Placing there. Swarm grenade. And you go to screens. Now, for defending B site, I used to have a setup, and I would usually only go B. But then they updated the map, and that setup doesn't really work anymore. What I do now is I put a turret. Where the fuck? Put a turret here. I put the alarm bot here usually. As you can see, it goes all the way there and it goes to there as well. And I usually put a swarm grenade on here. Because as you can see, it gets the full default there. And the other one will go about on this footstep, like in between these two. Because that's going to do that. And it's going to basically force them behind yellow force them to go here or just to stay back um, and you are either going to be snowman yeah. here yeah. or up in tube and playing off the turret pretty much anywhere you are you're going to be playing off the turret hey, yo, the pizza here. Oh, nigga. most of the time you're going to be attacking a what you're going to do is you're going to put your alarm bot here alarm bot out. Uh, this might be a better place to catch them earlier, but you're gonna see that uh, this already is basically out of range for you uh, So any further back is just gonna make it even more impossible now There's two ways that you can do the turret you can do the turret to be more defensive and watch your flank along with the other alarm bot Because let's be honest one alarm bot isn't the best especially if you're gonna be out of range on the site uh, This is better on pistol rounds though You can put it here and your alarm bot will help you basically clear that side of site But now uh, planting listen to me now do not plant here plant right here or even better right here right here or here now i'll show you why because after you plant you're gonna place you're gonna place your nano swarm here and here the Placing usual whatever and you're gonna come back here and you're gonna play either up here and nest or here. back there now what you're gonna do with that is you have full sight onto the spike if it was there here. on the default site you have no way of seeing them. Probably the best place to play is here, here. right here on nest, and plant there. Plant the spike. Kind of like how this clip shows. Long grenade out. Last player Practice still. Practice. One enemy yeah. remaining. Oh nice. Long grenade out. She is off. She is off. Nice, you're so good, Edgar. I love you so much. Now, when attacking B, you'll notice that placing the alarm bot here is gonna get anybody that's that's flanking um problem with that though is it limits you to playing in one area you can only play in main and that's it you can't plant because if anyone's flanking you you're fucked uh and for your turret you can either place it here or you can come up here and place it here and it'll get somebody snowman 
or there, or there, or there, or there, or there, or there. As soon as someone plants, place your swarm. Place your swarm. Boom, boom. And you have won the game. I usually put the sage, you know, your sage wall there. And you just plant here. Swarm grenade here. You do that. You throw them from here. And then you just do it here and you watch your flank along with your alarm bot. There's a couple, this one is probably the best one for A, like it gets the, the largest area, but it is in the open. You could, you could come over here and place it up here and that will give you all of sight. So that is probably the best place to put your alt is there, because you can't really shoot it. Defending on A. The best place for you to do it is right over here in screens. You cover all of sight. You cover all of this choke point. You cover this part of belt, nest, this uh, fucking thing, whatever you want to call it. And it also gets over here. It, it pretty much forces them back into their spawn. Alting while attacking B is pretty easy. Literally the entire site. This gives you all of sight, forces them back. The snowman it forces them into kitchen it forces them even further back in mid now you can even coordinate that and have one of your teammates watching mid and as they're pushing out to get away they're dead um that's wall bang so you can't really alt up there so really you're gonna want to alt here even then that is wall bangable so maybe maybe here right but this is also wall bangable the walls in this game are made of fucking paper. So maybe what you might want to do is to just drop and alt over here. Haven is the only map in the game with three sites. Honestly, on Haven, I'll usually play Cypher. But as a setup on A, a good spot for the turret would be either here, so there, there. Both of those sites will get both yeah. sewers and yeah. main. I would say probably the best one is yeah. there. You're gonna put your alarm bot there. Placing alarm bot. One of your swarm grenades Placing here. Swarm grenade. And the other swarm grenade Placing here. Swarm grenade. And you are either gonna be playing heaven yeah. or where I am standing right now. You don't have to peek yourself or kill anyone. You just wanna scare them away from from Russia. But anyways, once you once the turret is picking them up and you you see that they're gonna push, swarm, swarm grenade. Out. It's gonna force them back, force them on sight, get the kill. And once the alarm bot goes off, swarm grenade just out. pop it right away and come over to this side. Try to get anyone that ran into that corner, or if they try to run in sight, just that's honestly probably the best uh, setup that I can come up with on A. I think turret yeah. there. Alarm bot yeah. there, swarm grenade yeah. there, and swarm grenade there is probably the best setup that you can do on A. Or maybe you can put the turret up here and do the same setup with the alarm bot yeah. there, swarm there, swarm there, yeah. and then just have the turret up there if you really wanted to. Doesn't really make a difference from there or there. Both of them have line of sight onto sewer and long, but yeah, to each, is, to each their back. own. Defending B with Killjoy is. It's pretty easy, but not easy at the same time. Your utility is going to be focused all on one entrance way, pretty much. Not all of it. Your alarm bot is going to be on the entrance into garage. Uh, just in case that they're not coming to B, that they're going to C. And your other swarm grenade is going to be right there. You're probably going to be back here, playing off of your turret. Once the turret goes off. Bomb grenade out. Kind of just deters them from entering sight. So once the alarm bot goes Bomb off, you set it off, it pretty much covers all of garage. So yeah, uh, alarm bot and swarm grenade in garage. Turret here to watch the entranceway. And your other swarm grenade on Placing the entranceway to slow them down. There's a lot of ways that you can play this with your alarm bot. You can try to do it to, to get early info. So you can place it here. Out. to get all the way down long and see if anyone's there or back. you can put it up here to get early info i don't know if it'll detect them all the way down there so this one might not be the best place you can place it here 
to not get all the way early info, but to know when they're pushing up to Cubby. You can kind of be here and the turret goes off and you know, oh, okay, they're right there. Now your alarm bot will go right here. A swarm grenade will go right on this here. And your other swarm grenade will go onto the entrance from long. Once the turret detects them, set it off and you peek with it. Once the alarm bot goes off, you set it off. And your best spot to play is either on here or back here. And when you peek long, you peek like this. Yeah, and pretty much all you're doing is wasting their time to try to get one of your teammates to come help you and hopefully push them away from C. White people be like, Billy, where are you, Billy? Is that you? Like I said, I usually play Cypher, and Cypher is easier with Flank Watch. But you can put your yeah. alarm bot there. It'll pretty much get them as they're coming in through A, and they can either head to main or long or to short or sewers, whatever. Pretty much, you're gonna put your turret right here. Turn out. So that turret will see them as they're coming here. And the longer it shoots, the more you know they're there. And the shorter it shoots, you know they just ran too long. Plant obviously is right there. You're gonna put swarm there. Placing swarm and grenade. Swarm over there. Placing swarm grenade. And you're gonna come and play with your turret and wash your flank at the same time. And then as soon as you hear the thing go off, swarm grenade out. And swarm then, grenade out. And kill them and you won. Now, since you're playing in sewer with the setup I gave you, you might want to put the turret on long instead, like over here maybe, to try to make sure, okay, they're coming to long. Or you could even put it over here and only get them if they're coming long and you're playing down here. The alarm bot goes off, but you don't hear the turret, then you know they're coming to you. If the alarm bot goes off and you do hear the turret, then you know that they're going long. Now there's not much you can do with uh, attacking B with Killjoy's utility. You can just, you know, take mid. What you could do, I guess, is put your turret, try to push up, your turret goes there. If you can even safely place it. You wanna place a swarm grenade like that. Get anybody that's going over there. Swarm grenade there. Then try to keep there, and then you plant right there. It's better for you to plant, I guess, right there. And maybe have your turret instead of there be here. And then you can do the swarm thing where you go like that. Placing swap, bomb grenade, bomb grenade out. And then you come in and plant there. I got the uh, spike. That's the best I can think of. Recalling my bot. But maybe there's better. Now, attacking C as Killjoy is kind of the same. Your team takes. Your team helps you take C, like always. You put your turret there to, to catch anybody coming from long. You put your alarm bot in here. Pretty alarm much the same place as you would on defense. And you plant here. I dropped the spike. Swarm. Placing swarm grenade. Swarm. Placing swarm grenade. Actually, turret. Bot your turret back. will probably be better off even further back, maybe even Time here. Because after you plant, you're gonna be coming yeah. here to, to cubby. To you know, because you planted, you planted for long. You're gonna sit here. You hear it go off once. Swarm grenade out. Here we go off a second swarm time. And that turret's gonna tell you, hey, they're behind you, dumbass, look. And then you go and you peek them. Or you go and you get ready for them to peek, to, for them to come around to you. Fire down. Down. Okay. Ah, down. Oh, uh, uh, long, long, long. Placing swamp, oh. swamp grenade out. Copy, 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 copy. Yeah. Placing swamp grenade. Swamp grenade out. Is throwing everything. There's, I think Phoenix might be on the right. I, yeah. I can't even enter. Oh, window. Alarm bot out. Kill my bot. Stealing sight. Spikes down. Placing. <laughs> Last player standing. Alright, man. Ah, oh, turn it down. Time me. Swarm grenade out. Oh, oh. the how? Okay. Oh, you know what? Nice. Obviously, you can't do this by yourself. You can't do any of these by yourself. This is just what you do within your role as Killjoy along with your team. So obviously you'll have Viper put her wall 
all the way through here to cover yeah. off CT. Jet will dash in, put her yeah. smoke here, dash, dash in here, come out, peek them. You'll have uh, you do what I just told you. And uh, maybe even a, a Sova do that and put his recon dart here. Or maybe a Breach come and help with the execute, you know? It's you using your utility along with your team using their utility to take the site. Probably the best location would be here. Initiated. But just like with any Killjoy alt, a Brimstone alt or a, Ro uh, or a Sova alt will obviously get rid of it. But it does get the entirety of site and pretty much all of heaven. You can even alt back here if you get control of site as you're planting, you alt there. You could take all of site and push all the way up and alt here. This is the yeah. furthest you should go, but you should definitely alt yeah. down there. You kind of have to take control of site pretty much, or at least the right side of site to come up and alt over here. Cause that takes all of site. It takes uh, yeah. the, the link to A or CT takes the link yeah. to C. But like I said earlier, when you're executing with Killjoy, it's in tandem with your entire team. You're not solo taking a site. C, you're probably going to be alting over here. And it's really just going to be getting rid of Garage and this half, this half Let's go of here. site. Usually with C, it's broken down into two halves and that's along yeah. the ha this half right here. You're gonna have this half and this half, and that's usually why Jet will come and put her smoke here yeah. and dash into the smoke right there. Because she'll come and this site is split in half along this. She'll come and she'll peek CT in this half while you have this half. So you alt there. Yeah. As you alt, Jet dashes and smokes here, comes and peeks this, and you basically get the site and plant here for long. And you do the setup that I said before, where you alarm Watching right there, this. turret there, swarm, yeah. nano swarm there, and you play here. When defending A, there is really only one place for you to alt, and that's here. It covers literally everything, uh, and it is, it is the best uh, alt place when defending A. If you are sitting heaven, you could do it over here, because if you do it here, which it, it covers more, this is, it's wall bangable fully. So the best place, if you were playing heaven, this is probably the best place to put it. But in in general, yeah, that is the best place to alt while defending A. Okay, now when defending B, probably the best place to alt is here, or maybe even back here if you're sitting on site, or here again if you're sitting on site and you want to push them back, or maybe even over here if you're playing garage and you want to just come over here and alt here just to make sure you're trying to just slow them down and if you really wanted to ensure that you're safe you could even alt it, uh, back here pretty much in your spawn it covers all of c it pushes them into grass you know, it's a fairly decent alt spot now alting while defending c is a little bit complicated because anywhere you put it they can easily like shoot it i guess because if you plant here they can shoot you from there if you plant here, they can just shoot through the wall or just push into window. If you do it here, they can just jump and then like tap it or just shoot it yeah. through there. If you do it here or here, they can just shoot it through that. So I guess it's really up to you. Any one of those would be fine. Um, you just have to make sure that you're defending your alt after you place it. So again, thank you so much for watching. I know this is a different type of video, but I really wanted to do this because I am a Killjoy main and I have I want to do this for every agent. I know it's going to be hard to do it with like duelists, but uh, you know, it's a challenge. I kind of want to do it mainly to learn myself because obviously I'm not the best. I'm not good at all. But this I think is going to help me more. So learn how uh, the, st the strategic side of the game a bit since my aim is a bit lacking and hopefully uh, help you guys along the way if you want me to continue doing this please comment down below uh, i appreciate you guys watching and you know if you if you like the video like the video please subscribe and uh please watch my streams i stream every monday tuesday and thursday uh yeah i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching bye bye